You try just mashing pass like before the puck gets to you. Like uh, ever? Yeah, yeah. You see that? Whoa, that's so sick. <laughs> Look at that! Oh! It's so tight! What's up guys, Llama Pen here, and today I'm going to teach you how to do the one-touch slap pass. One-touch passing has been revamped in NHL 24 and now allows for quicker passing plays for players who are trying to think one step ahead. To trigger a one-touch pass, simply press pass, which will be R2 or RT, as the puck is coming to you, and point with the left stick where you'd like that pass to go. Make sure you press pass before the puck gets to you and are aiming in the direction of your target. The animation and kind of one touch pass you will get is going to depend on where you receive the pass, how your skater is positioned, and where you aim the next pass. But getting your player to enter into one of these one touch animations will require slightly quick sticking depending on how far apart each skater is. For me, I personally find it easier when there's a little more distance between each skater. That way you have time to press pass and time it and aim where you want it to go. If you do a one-touch pass when you're squared up to the passer and receive the pass on the forehand side, your player should go up for a slap shot and instead slap pass it back, assuming your pass is in the direction your skater is facing. This opens the door for creative and deceptive plays on odd man rushes, give and goes, and tic-tac-toe plays. If you're really quick and can press shoot as the slap pass is coming back to you, you could even one-time slap shot the one-time slap pass. This reminds me of that classic Tampa Bay Lightning power play setup with Nikita Kucherov on the wing and Braden Point on the bumper. This seems to work pretty good whether the skater's on their natural or off wing, although I will say being on the off wing is going to make for a more deceptive fake slap shot. This mechanic also seems to work really well with loose pucks, and the controls work the same here. So right before you approach the puck, just press pass and aim at your target with the left stick. If your back is to your target as you approach the puck, you might even get this crazy 180 animation. This could also easily be paired with drop passes to your teammates or just to yourself for a fancy play. I will say this mechanic is still somewhat finicky. Whoa. You still have to receive the pass in the exact right spot, press pass at the exact right time, and make sure you're aiming accurately at your target. I personally find that pressing the pass button in quick succession two to three times before receiving a pass or when approaching that loose puck helps me to more consistently get the animation and rely less on timing it perfectly. It's also not uncommon to totally catch your teammates off guard and have this backfire. Um, and it can be really hard to time in EASHL when you don't know when your teammates passing to you and vice versa. So this is just something you're gonna have to do with your teammates to get more comfortable with. Also, in 1v1 modes, this is just gonna be kind of difficult to do because it's hard to get the AI to position themselves properly. So anyway, for now, this is just a cool, new, subtle feature added to NHL 24, one that I really like, um, just along with one touch passing in general. But let me know what you guys think. Did you guys know about this? Have you already gotten some cool plays with this online? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys get some use out of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.